It's Friday night, but for good order. I'm going to tell you that we're recording it on Thursday. So I've got Andy Heaton, Cameron Matt and Rob Gutman to talk about all sorts of things pertaining to Liverpool versus Brighton. But ultimately, we've got to deal with what's breaking in the way in which we would if we were sat here right now. And that's what's all we've been talking about before it starts. And all we're going to talk about all the way through, Rob, is the... The ramifications of Roman Abramovich's sanctions at Chelsea, it looks as though it's really rather dramatic just from the point of view of people walking into the ground. Yeah, it's sort of, talking to, to my, my lad Rafi on the way home from school, this is the most sort of dramatic t- series of events, the Chelsea thing, that I can remember in, in my football lifetime. You know, out, outside of tra- tragic incidences, but in sort of the business of football, it's it's also epoch defining, it's just mad. It is absolutely mad. In the context of a world gone mad, it's absolutely great. It, in a way, in microcosm, it sort, of, it sort of shows you just how crazy the situation of the world we are living is right now. That a football club can just be yanked away from a man who we thought was as untouchable as Roman Abramovich like this. It's, it's exciting stuff, Neil. And I, I say that in a fairly tasteless way. You do say it in a fairly tasteless way. Uh, someone else who says things in a fairly tasteless way sometimes, Andy. There is... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is this... Um, there is the, there's always been the idea that this could go this way. And that's and that, that's the case full stop for so many of these clubs who get bought in, in this way and then run in this way. That What does it look like when it all goes badly wrong? I thought a few years back he might be looking to exit Abramovich. And then I was like, well, what will it look like then for Chelsea? <clears throat> this is something far worse than that because it's something that they're completely out of control of. Yeah, I mean, first things first, I mean, all this in the grand scheme of things is incidental. Mm. Um, and I think it's worth stating that before we get overly serious about a football club. Before I say anything else tasteless. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but fair. <laughs> but, no, these th- I, I was with you. These things generally have a life cycle, especially when it's bought for a purpose. Um, and I was saying before we started this, and we'll, we'll, we'll go into it a bit later on, I think. Um, if I was a City fan, I'd be keeping a close eye on this as well. Not so much with what might happen to their owners, but what their owners might think after this. Yeah. Because if they can take Chelsea, if they can take Chelsea just like that, then, you know, the, 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 the flexing the muscles. I think with what Rob was talking about and what you were alluding to earlier, there was a, it's, it's not the first time they've come for Abramovich. Mm. Um, I think he was denied the working visa, wasn't he, a couple yeah. of yeah. years ago. And there was talk That's where he sulked off doing the yeah. expansion. Yeah, um, and then there was talk of him letting go there, but Politically, you know, maybe it just made sense for him to, to, to stay in situ. Um, you know, maybe he felt safe owning the club and he started to spend the money again, which is a mad one, because it yeah. took, took, took a couple of years off. I th- exactly, and they had the ban for one year as yeah. well. And I just sort of wonder whether or not he might, he might think, you know what, that'll do. He's got all these players' assets that they can sell and they can get his exit and go from there. But it didn't happen, but now there's this. The, 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 problem, the problem Chelsea have got, and I agree with you, it, it is weird being watching Sky Sports News, like the, the sign on the, the mega store door, <laughs> Due to the inter- whatever the word was, it was just cracking. Due to World War Three. Due to World War Effectively, yes. <laughs> um, no, th- I've, I've, lost me, I've lost my train of thought there, but what was I going to say? You were going to say, that you were going to say, and I'll come, I'll come to you, Cam, on it. it is, it's the fact that it happens at all levels. I think there's a point here where I don't want to be to... Um, to reveling in it, I'm not. I'm not, eager, I'm, not, I'm not eager to revel in it. Not least because this will also be people's jobs. Mm. You know, you literally got people who turn up to work today to work in the in the Chelsea store. I've got it. I remember. So the problem you've got if you're Chelsea, Sonny Camp. The, <laughs> yeah. I think the biggest problem that Chelsea have got now. Let's just assume that they've got to sell the club, whether it's the government, whether the, the, the sanctions are lifted, whether Chelsea as an asset isn't actually, despite being in a prime postcode. There's no way it's worth even the money that, that, that it's owed to Bramber to even if you sell it and do a diddle on the money he's owed. Yeah. So you mentioned that um, the Battery Power Station thing that didn't happen when they were going to move to there. Mm. Chelsea's ground is in need of expansion anyway. It's landlocked. And then you've got all the problems with it. Not the problems, it's not a problem at all, but like the, the, the actual pitch itself isn't even owned by the club. Yeah. It's owned by the by supporters trust. You're looking at me like Who you didn't it? know it. Yeah, you know, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's right. So they don't own the land. And they don't no. even own the name Chelsea. They don't own the land. Bramovich no. doesn't own that no. land. No. So no. they couldn't. Oh, it's a stadium, but he doesn't own the pitch. So he couldn't sell that bit off the flat. So you see, if they want to read that, that, that's why. That's why. That's, why that's, that's exactly mm. why that happened. So they couldn't. I did not. Yeah. yeah. So Every day's a school day. As an as an asset, I'm, I'm glad to remember now. <laughs> it's nowhere near what this th- this three billion what they're talking about. And also, who'd want to buy it if it's either going to be leveraged with two billion or three billions worth of debt? And also, reputationally. Yeah. You know, the only the only people who if. My cynical head says the only people who'd be interested in Chelsea are the worst type of people. All right, the Reds, thanks for watching a little bit of a premium Anfield rap video there. If you want to watch the rest of that show and get access to much, much more, 
click join below that activates our youtube membership it means you get a premium video every day of the week you get our post-match content you get reviews previews and exclusive interviews all here from the heart of liverpool follow us follow them up the reds